Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we learn about the Laravel Bridge. Laravel Bridge is the official package of the Laravel and well documented as well. Laravel Bridge is a minimal and a simple implementation all of the Laravel authentication features including login, registration, password reset and all. Laravel Bridge default view layer is made up with the layer template using the Tailwind CSS. So I going to install this Laravel Bridge package into the my this bridge application and here is the official package and you can follow this documentation as well a well documentation given by the Laravel. So let's install this package using composer I going to install in my this fresh application Laravel Bridge and in my application 1.6.0 is installed successfully so let me show you inside the composer.json you can see here also composer.log file is updated now we need to fire next step and we need to fire breeze colon install command using the php addition so let's fire breeze scaffolding install successfully and then we need to execute the command npm install and then npm run dev so npm install install the all the node and npm dependency and then npm run dev command all the assets and uh, create the file for css and js first of all let me show you you can see here all the files generated with the components see here a login a register blade so this all view files are generated also into the route auth.php file with all of the routes created here and see here and this auth route is registered with the web.php you can see here uh, auth.php file include with the required directory and auth so you can see all the routes here as well and you can see here app.css and app.js are included here with the alpine start and everything alpine js is also included and also you can see here bootstrap is included now all these app and css compiled with the webpack.mix and create final css and js inside the public directory but before that we need to install npm you can see here package.json also updated with these packages alpine.js tailwind css and uh, auto prefixers and also other three packages added here tailwind css post css import and post css for compile the css so you can see here dashboard and other layouts app dot blade guest blade lots of things generated by that command so we can use it so let's fire this command npm install and npm run dev So all the assets are compiled successful and final to app.js and app.css created inside the public directory. Let me show you. You can see here. Now next thing is we need to run migration. So let's run the migration using this command phpartition migrate. 
nothing to migrate because I already run all the default migrations and set up the database successfully so no need to fire this command if you have already set now we can navigate on login and register page so let's start server again and check it's working or not copy this and go to the browser and now we need to fire login and you can see here also we can go to the register so let's go and register one user let me specify my user and let me add password okay so we need to give proper password and let's register and dashboard is appear with the default layout and you can see here logout button as well let's log out and let me specify login here and you can see here forget your password you can specify email as well here so this is a basic login and authentication system is ready with this package this package also offer the interior JS so you can use view and react we fired this command after this installation if you want to use with the interia js and into the view and react you just need to specify react or view so let's try it with this command let me revert all these changes and try to regenerate with this view and react so let's try so let me try with this command php artisan bridge install react i revert all the assets which is generated by with simple bridge colon install command so let me generate again and you can see here composer.json has been updated and steps are working interior interior laravel installing and everything is done let's see what thing is generated and you can see here now all the react component are generated with the buttons and checkbox drop down inputs label and everything also you can see here now layout generated with the js and with the react method and you can see here all the pages inside the js now all the view file are generated with the js instead of the blade register.js login.js reset everything you can see here so now let's fire this npm install and npm dev command again and generate the css and js and check so you can see here all the assets compiled successfully and app.js and app.css created let's clear the console terminal and start server again and let me try to refresh and you can see are still working so you can install easily so you can also use 
bridge with the next js and you can create the api using the api argument so uh, this is the way you can create for view you can create for react and you can create for the api and use into the next js and others so this is very great package and lots of thing provided with the authentication with the variation you can use view react it's very great so thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you